What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Marlon. Huh, huh, huh. And welcome back to another episode of Marlon's World. First off, like always, I want to thank God for letting me do another video with you guys and just letting y'all come in and just hear what I have to talk about. I also want to thank you guys for coming back to another episode. Um, without y'all, this wouldn't have been um, made. Uh, I also want to thank all my family and friends. And also, I want to give a shout out to my boy Dare, D-Money, for the merch. You know what I'm saying? He always keep me looking fresh and nice and clean. You hear me? Y'all see me with the new hairdo. I know y'all see me. You know, a little something new, new, nice and fresh. But yeah, I'm finna go ahead and get in tune. So, I'll, so last week, we talked about mental health. Um, we talked about what it was and, you know, what how big it impact the world. Now, this episode, I want to get more into what mental health really is and how it affects a person's everyday life. Now, as far as mental health, what we know is that having a good mental health is a must, you know? Um, when you have a poor mental health, you arrive in this stage of loneliness. Now, for most people, I'm, what I'm not saying is that if you like being alone, you have bad mental health. That's what I'm not really saying that. But what I do mean is that when you start to get added stress to your life, you become, you begin to become more lonely. You know what I'm saying? You begin to back away from other people because you have this fear of being a burden. You have this fear of not not understanding yourself what's holding you from being the person you normally are when you get this added stress or, you know, so many things are coming at you all at once. Um, now, your mental health influences how you think, how you behave, and, and how you feel. When it comes to having a strong mental health, it doesn't mean you don't have a problems in your life um because at the end of the day we all grow through things as far as um bad stages in our life or emotional events or disappointments loss or life-changing events of course once again it's a part of life it, it happens you know what i'm saying it's only so much sorry it's only so much that we can do to really like really stop these things now having a good mental health it means that you have the ability to really deal with stress and bounce back from adversity. You know, you don't have a, you don't really get a poor mental health with when it comes to like a certain change of events or bad, not, I don't want to say bad things, but certain things that don't quite happen in your daily routine of life. Um, You have the ability to learn new skills and adapt to change. That's why I said when, when it comes to having good health, you're able to understand certain things and still move about it. You know what I'm saying? It don't take you that. You don't be, I'm going to give it like to you guys, like how we talk in our day. You don't really be in the slumps for too long. You know what I'm saying? You kind of just chill, lay back, understand what's going on, and then you get right back up on your feet. And then you go about your business, you know? Um. But physically, just as people are able to, bounce back from illnesses or injury, um, people with, once again, good mental health can do the same as adversity, trauma, and other um, courses of stress when it comes to their mental health. So, for example, like a balloon. When it comes to a balloon, I'm, a, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to get y'all, like, a little easier, like, going with it. So, let's treat mental health like a balloon, right? When it comes to mental health, and a balloon, a balloon has a lot of air, meaning that for your mental health, you have strong mental health. You know what I'm saying? Um, your mental health is very strong, but the less of the air, the weaker your mindset is, the weaker your mental health is, your mental health is getting poor. Now, just like as a, as a ball of air, you know what I'm saying, a balloon, it loses air over time, and you have to maintain that air just like your mental health. You have to maintain a good mental health. So with that, you have to um, control your thoughts. Once again, your thoughts are your worst and best enemy because when you put positive energy around you or 
when you put positive positive thoughts in your head, you know what I'm saying? You begin to have good mental health, you become more positive. But when you put negative thoughts in your head, you begin to become negative, not to yourself, but the people around you. So when it comes to weak mental health, you know, um, you feel as, once again, you feel as if you're a burden. You know, they can't, you can't really go to anyone or talk to someone about what's going on because you feel like that person are not going to feel your emotions, like feel what you're going through, or they're not going to understand what you're talking about. Um, you know, as you begin to feel like a burden, you begin to feel like you don't belong on this earth. You begin to become like, I hate the word, but you become suicidal. And little as you may know, I have been in this situation before where I have thought that type of thought. Once again, I'm very um, open, open-minded. Open, I'm a very open book. I don't mind sharing this information with y'all. Um, I was in this position before, and I was, that, and at that point in time, I was at a very low point. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that mindset, because I once again, I was afraid to talk to someone. I was, a, I was afraid to really, really talk to someone because I felt like they wasn't going to understand. So, you know what I'm saying? As I finally spoke up to the person I needed to talk to. Um, I began to become more, more good, feel good about myself more. I was able to reach and talk to the people that I need to talk to, of course. And I began to be the Marlon that I am today. And 40, did you guys know that 44,000 Americans die every year due to the mental health crisis of poor mental health or and not being able to talk to someone and not being able to really, I don't want to say necessarily showcase. I want to say really explain their true feelings on what's going on. Now, the best thing is that there are a lot of ways to help with poor mental health. And one of the ways is to keep active. Um, being able to exercise every day or not necessarily every day, but keep yourself in an active mood. Um, that's a that's that's one of the pluses of life. Once again, being able to be in a good mood of exercising because it helps with your mental being being able at the end of the day of a workout, you understand that you killed that workout like you're in a good mood. You're like, yes, I did that. You know what I'm saying? I, I did that myself. No one helped me out. You know what I'm saying? I pushed through that myself. Um, another thing is eating well. Um, your brain needs nutrients to be healthy. So when you eat good, you know what I'm saying, your brain actually takes down those nutrients from that food and it goes to the mental and it makes your mental stronger. Um, I think this is my favorite. Um, I'm actually going to say taking a break um, from like certain things as far as school, work, um, projects, you know, maybe life in general. Like something that I really that I do all the time is that I just really go on a walk and listen to my music or I get... I kind of get with my friends, maybe, and I just chill with them. Um, those are those are my things of taking a break. Of what I mean by taking a break, maybe a, maybe taking a break to you, and maybe reading a book, or you know, maybe going on YouTube, or you know, what I'm saying just taking a break from life, just just being able to you know just relax and then you know recuperate with uh, certain things and then just get back to it. And last but not least, I think the number one thing when it comes to um, mental health is talking to someone. Um, if you're not able to talk to your family or friend, these are some people to talk to. Um, I feel like these people can really help you with those things. Um, once again, we all can't talk to our loved ones. Um, it's very hard to do that, but these lines are here to help you with that. So once again, I want to thank you guys for coming to Marlins World. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we, you know, we do this every Monday. So please be here once again. I'll um, really thank you guys for coming here and showing me some support. Um, once again, I'm going to be doing this every Monday. So please stay tuned. Peace and love. I get you what you want, but you want.